Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Transformers Power of the Primes Dinobot Snarl from the Deluxe class, the final member of the Dinobot team to be released, or along with Sludge there. But yes, the final one is the Stegosaurus, and he comes in this package right here. You can see again, another render, more artwork and all that stuff in the bubble, and more renders and whatnot, and play pattern and all that stuff on the back of the box. It also says, how will the surly combat hungry Dinobot with the wield the power of the primes? So, yep, box. Same as pretty much every other deluxe box. He also, of course, comes in the package along with the quick figure. Of course, he has his instructions and his card. Again, the nice artwork there. And on the back, it's once again Solus Snarl. Forges armor that can withstand infinite battles. And oddly enough, most of my Dinobots that I got wound up being Solus. Like all but yeah, three out of, I think half of them. At least three, which is weird. But as you can see, he is a Stegosaurus, like I said. And yes, once again, silvers, golds, um, black, and red, and a little bit of translucent here on the hips. And some de detailing right there. Some blue and red pantos. And it's a good looking, well, Stegosaurus thing. Stands pretty well. He's got his little fins all the way down. These ones, for whatever reason, can move. And they have little pegs. And I believe those, ah, those are for Prime Masters or Titan Masters. They can peg onto the back there. If you want. But yeah, it's overall pretty nice little dino. He's got a little bit of articulation, not a whole lot. Uh, his front legs can move forward and back. His mouth can't even open because of how he transforms. And his rear legs can move forward and back and outward. And he's got a little swivel there. And there's a knee. And that's pretty much it. He doesn't have a whole lot. Less than, less than many of the other Dinobots. But of course, speaking of said Dinobots, we do the whole group together. Sludge, his wave mate, Grimlock, Slug, Swoop, and of course the new member, Slash. Again, they all look really good together. Really good together. Um, it's, again, nice to have all the Dinobots and I guess even a new member who's really good. This is a really good Legends figure. It's just really nice to have all the Dinobots again back in their old G1 colors, not movie designs, more reminiscent G1. It's just kind of nice to have them back in general. You know? So, there you go. Snarl here, I'm gonna have to also, before I move on, comes with a sword and his prime armor. And his prime armor is only slightly different from the rest of them because of this gold peg. Because of the molding thing, his peg is molded gold and not black. And for whatever reason, his sword is completely transparent. I suspect it was supposed to be painted red like swoops, but they forgot to paint it or something because every single one of them is like this. This is not just a one-off problem. This is Swoop's sword. You can see Swoop's is red, but it's also, well, it's painted red because of the clear handle and stuff, but this is entirely clear. I'm not sure. It might have been intentional, but I suspect it was an accident. They are supposed to be painted and it wasn't. Uh, in this dinosaur mode, of course, you can uh, take the sword and peg it on. There's holes in the back legs for it. Form on each side. And it, you can store it like so, if you want, or don't, it's up to you. So, uh, yep, probably should go ahead and move on to transformation. All right, so first transformation, of course, is leg mode. And it's pretty simple to get there. You just gotta take the head, move it down, and there's a little tab here that goes in a slot here. 
So take these legs, move them down like this. There's a little tab hole that goes over that tab, a little slot that goes over that tab. Like so like that, take the tail, move it up like that, and then take the carminer peg, move it up, and then of course plug into a foot. And it really is that straightforward. And yep, yeah, it's, I mean, again, it's, it's, it's a decent leg. I mean, decent enough. I mean, you got this big old spiked kneecap thing, but it's a decent leg. And of course to uh, go to arm mode, it's a little more complicated. He's actually fairly complicated all things in there. First thing, take that peg and move it down. Take these, split them like this. That's uh, more or less part of it. Take these arms, or take these legs and untab them from the side. You're gonna have to also take the whole bottom half and split this apart. This this cold plate, this gold panel right here, you gotta split in half and open it up. And it can be a little uh, tricky, shall we say. Not exactly easy, and you might wanna have to get these legs out of the way too. But uh, you gotta split this open like that. And unfold the legs. Fold, fold them. I'll probably cut, split apart like that. And then when you do, gotta take, take this piece, move it down, and then put them back to, these panels back together, which again, can be a pain in the butt. Put them back together and refold this head back down like that to take these legs and fold them up. There's a little spot they'll stop. Same on this side. Now take these arms. You actually have to move them up like this. There's a little armature like that down here. Go and move them up, click them into place, then rotate them around. And there's a little slot here which goes over this tab like that. And then rotate this whichever way. I believe you're actually supposed to do it this way because this one, oddly enough, the knees can bend both ways. And of course you take this prime armor, peg it in, and there you go, you got a hand, and you're now a limb. And that is his arm mode. Actually, I almost forgot this one piece right there. Move that up if you want. Or you can leave it angled out whichever way, way you really want it, but that's his arm mode. It's actually kind of interesting just because you got this big old spiked shoulder. It's actually kind of cool looking, all things considered. I actually kind of like this, um, but the default configuration for Volcanicus doesn't use him as an arm, uses him a leg, but this is actually pretty cool looking. Might use him as an arm instead of the or at least personally, but as, instead of a leg, but there you go. It's actually pretty cool, actually, like this. Uh, the only thing is, it's a little, the tabbing can be a little finicky on the legs just because of this panel nightmare. But yeah, uh, take the, now to go to robot mode, you take the arm off, or hand off, straighten the legs out, rotate them forward like this. No, actually, that's not forward, this is forward. Split the legs apart, which again, might be a little annoying. And then you're gonna have to take this piece and fold it back up and then close it back up the panel back up here. There you go, the legs are done. Take the combiner port, move back down, untap the arms and rotate them around at the bicep. Take the fists, move them out. So, then you take the this tail piece, move it back, and the head is down in here. When I get your kind of get a finger underneath this little pa panel and move his head up, then move this back up like this. You can do whatever you want with these. You can flatten them out if you want. And there you go. You got Snarl in his robot mode. And 
honestly, it's a pretty decent robot mode. I'm not going to lie. I I don't mind this one so much. Um, whereas, like, Sludge, for example, suffers a bit from scrawniness. He doesn't really suffer, oddly enough. He kind of works pretty well. Uh, he may be a little skinny for some people's taste, but I think because he's snarling, he kind of works. He's still kind of got a weird bulkiness to him, but not... They did turn around, you know, they basically, because before he used to, used to be way back when this was the front and on the old one, this was the front and you move the whole thing back behind him. Now it's, uh, they reverse it around. It kind of makes it work a little better because now he doesn't look like he has a gut. So I think it, it kind of works. I know some people, for some purists that might not be ideal, but I think he works in this mode a lot. Again, you've got that detailing from before, the red and blue striping down here. Mostly, you know, lots of gold because it's Snarl. He gets a lot more gold in robot mode than the other Dinobots. He's also got a little bit of detailing here. This little blue and black, like, symbols on the chest. See that? He's got an Autobot logo behind a uh, clear um, plastic and his head. Nice head. He's got the little horns like he's supposed to. He's got little red eyes picked out, silver face, a little crest picked out as well. He just kind of looks, mm, looks a little... Like he's judging you. Yeah. He's just... He's a pretty good robot mode. Of course, comes as his clear sword, and you can put that in his hand. Like that. It's actually a really tight fit on mine. You also take his prime armor. That's a wrong one. Take his prime armor. Peg it in. In the front. If you want to end... Take that out and put a Prime Master in, like, say, Alpha Trion. I still think it looks ridiculous. But you can do that if you want. You can also take the uh, clear bit and put it in his hand as a gun. Again, um, not the greatest looking gun. Prime Armor is only really, as far as I'm concerned, only really useful for uh, combined mode stuff. And that's really about it. Articulation though, his head's on a ball joint actually, so it looks left and right, up and down a bit, and there's a little tiny bit of wiggle. His arms are on ball, ball joints, so they can go forward, back, outward. Uh, they can get a little. This can get a little in the way, but you can also just move that back if you want, and it's a little more free. He's got bicep swivels, elbows, about 90 degrees. He's got a waist joint. The legs are on ball joints. The hips, ball joints are really tight. The knees want to give before the hips do, so I keep doing that. Hips can go out pretty far, actually, a lot farther than some of the other Dynamots. He's got a thigh swivel, though, and he's got knees, like you said. I said about 90 degrees, although, again, you can also have a broken knee if you want, and that's his articulation. About par for the course for Deluxes anymore. And, of course, because he's Dinobot. Gotta put him with the other Dinobots. Like the leader Grimlock. And Slug or Slag. Sludge is Wave Mate. And Swoop. And of course, Slash the new one. Again. They look really good together, just these two have disappointments in robot mode that others don't. But again, I think, I think honestly, of these, these uh, th uh, Swoop, Snarl, and Slash are probably the best with the least amount of compromise, I think. These two are a little too skinny and, well, Grimlock, well, Bulky kind of has a couple problems, and particularly no weapons, and he sometimes doesn't like to tab in all the way. But yeah, they look great together as a team. And I think, again, I think this is the way that most people are going to display them as robots or as dinosaurs. And I just knocked Swoop over. But yeah, this they look good together. Either way, as dinosaurs or robots, they look great together. Um, so there you go. Now the thing is, as we all know, they combine together into Volcanicus. And now that I have the whole set, we can finally show the whole thing off. And not just with uh, borrowing limbs from other combiners. So I'm going to go ahead and get him into leg mode. All right, so 
There he is, leg mode with the uh, Grimlock piece. There's Sludge. This is going to get uh, pretty crazy pretty quickly. It's Torso, Grimlock, of course. I'm going to go ahead and uh, raise the camera up quite a bit because this is a uh, big. Take the course, take those, slide them into the ports. Like so, that came undone. And then the other two go to their own ports. And we have Volcanicus. However, you can also, as you notice, he's kind of slim like this. Um, you probably, I've already kind of touched on this a bit with a, with a Grimlock review, but here's Volcanicus. You can see he's a little slim for how, you know, it's kind of... You could take these, the extra hand pieces from um, these two, and you can peg them in. There's little peg holes right there, and you can go ahead and peg those in, and that does help a little bit with the whole, and then I move those thumbs in like this, and it does help a bit with the whole, he looks a little thin thing. I mean, you can still see get, gapping, but it does help at least with the, the silhouette a bit. It does help. It's not the greatest solution, but it does help a little bit. And of course, you can once again, you know, just open, you know, do that, open that up. You can put, you know, the, the Dinobot Enigma here if you want. Of course, take the Any Prime Master, do the same. I just think personally it just looks better like that. Uh, there is a Perfect Effect kit coming out. Uh, it does improve the look a bit, although it's kind of expensive considering how much you have to spend to get it to look pretty good. And that's the thing, is Volcanic is here kind of is, I mean, he's not as bad as I initially thought he would be, especially once you add these in. This These really help a bit, quite a bit, with the whole slim thing. But he's still not great. Overall, um, it's just a, I think the problem is these jut out way too much. If they found a way to make these not jut out so much or something, or make this part bulkier, it would have worked a lot better. But as it stands, it's just kind of like, ugh. You know, and it kind of has that same problem Motormaster did in the Combiner Wars, which is just this stuff right here just looks weird. Because, especially since those, these don't really tab in or anything down here. But, you know, it's, you know, still Volcanicus. He still looks kind of okay-ish. I mean, his head still moves. Still got the ratcheting elbow, um, shoulders. You know, they got you can have double jointed elbows if you configure it properly. You got wrist swivels, and you also got a dino bot that's coming apart because the peg down here isn't the greatest on slug. But he's got wrist swivels. Fingers can open and close, and thumb can move on a ball joint. He's got a waist swivel. It's kind of, it's actually, even with these on there, it's pretty much unhindered, which is nice. Although this, this problem right here, this likes to come untabbed super easily on mine. No matter what I do. It just untabs it really easily. He does have hips of sorts, just, it's kind of weird, no matter what you do, it just doesn't really work great. It just looks weird no matter how you do things, you know? Wind up, something always winds up bending weird. He does have knees though, so there's that. And that also, the knee can also act as a swivel if uh, the other stuff doesn't bend first. You got that swivel. And he's got ankle tilts. So, yeah, Volcanicus overall is kind of very, very, uh, it's not the greatest, especially since he doesn't super tab into great. Uh, we'll see. The jury's still out with the guard in the perfect effect kit. Um, it's kind of expensive considering. 
I'm not sure if it's going to be worth paying that much for him, for it. I'm not sure if it's just going to be worth paying for that much, that much for him. Or to fix it, um, overall, Dinobots are like, individually, in robot modes, when you put them together as a team, they look great. Um, he's a little thin. Sludge is a little thin in robot mode. Their dinosaur modes all, I think, look work really well. Also, here's Slash. I wish Slash could do something more, or officially do some more. I mean, people have figured out ways to, uh, yeah, people have figured out ways to like make Slash into a jetpack and whatnot. Or buy a second one and use those as torso fillers. But yeah. Um, I think also because of this this thing right here. This makes it give him a high collar. Which makes it look like his shoulders are lower than they should be. I mean look. If you look at where his shoulders are versus where his head is. It, there's this weird. It looks odd. Um, swoops. Combiner hand doesn't like to hold in super well. He likes to split apart. Um, this peg right here on mine is kind of loose, so that foot just kind of goes wherever it wants. The hips kind of are not great. It's just Volcanicus is kind of overall just kind of eh. Again, the Perfect Effect Kit is supposed to fix a lot of these issues, but or some of these issues, particularly hips. I know they're changing those hips. They're adding new chest plate. They're doing a couple of adjustments just to make this look better. But as it stands, it just... Volcanicus is very underwhelming, I think, for a combined for for a Dinobot first official Dinobot combining toy. It's pretty underwhelming. That's all I have to say, really. Uh, it's still I think still worth getting all the team just for they look good as they look good together as Dino dinosaurs and robots, but they don't look good together combined. Is the problem? Maybe with the perfect effect kit. I've seen the pictures. It looks all right. I'm just again not sure about that price there. So, team, yes. Combined, not really, not so much. I would not combine them really on the shelf. I'd leave them separate as a team on the shelf personally. But, and again, I don't know. This also might look work better if, again, I saw this as, a, as an arm. This looks a lot better. So, I might switch him and slug around. Might look a little better that way. But, yeah, it's just the biggest problem is just proportions are just so weird. And then on top of that, some stuff doesn't like to cooperate, particularly hips. So... Yeah, that's uh, that was Snarl and Volcanicus. Finally, the whole thing, and yeah, Snarl's great. I'd actually recommend him as an individual. Swoop, Snarl, Slash are all great as individuals. Grimlock's pretty good. Slug and Sludge are only I'd say only if you're getting the whole team anyway. So that's that. And don't vo don't bother with Volcanicus unless you just really want to. But you know, it's your call. It's your toys. I don't care one way or the other. So that's that. That's my rambling. Um, I hope you found this interesting or informative, and I hope you check out other videos, and I'll see you next time with uh, a future one.